You rate it an 8 out of 10. Ooh, the food has arrived. I honestly don't know how I'm going to do vlogging in public. You were just sitting on the couch with a jacket. We didn't say a word. Who would have thought? Good morning, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Selena. If you're new here, I post a bunch of lifestyle, productivity, and fitness journey vlogs. So if you're into that and if you haven't already, consider subscribing. I would love to have you join the fam. I decided to vlog a weekend in my life. So I'm just gonna be showing you all what I'm up to, how I'm productive, and how I relax and all of that. In the weekend, when I'm not working my nine to five job as an economist, I'm sure if if you're watching this video you've probably seen one of my work from home vlogs but I thought I would change it up with that said I just got back from my orange theory workouts and I also went for a walk after because it's absolutely beautiful outside right now and it's around 1 p.m. I actually have to hop on a FaceTime with one of my close friends from Oregon I'm so excited to chat with her you might get to meet her if she's up for it if not just know that she's amazing so I'm gonna do that right now and then I'll catch up with you all later Okay, so to be fair, I am running late to our FaceTime because I texted her that I was showering so that I was going to be a few minutes late. So I need to check and see if she can chat yet. But like, like, I'm going to have to feel more reason and... So, just finished having such a great chat with Drea. She is so amazing. I love her so much. And it's always so good to catch up with a good friend. It's 3 p.m. I feel like the time just flies when you're catching up with people who you haven't talked to in a while that you just love. And ugh, I swear, we can just talk forever and time just goes by too fast. I have some stuff that I still need to get done. I did put away the dishes and clean up the kitchen, like pick it up a bit while I was FaceTiming Drea just because I had to multitask to make sure that I got some things done. So I'm gonna take out the trash and pick up the plates and stuff that I just ate, put that away, and then I'm gonna figure out what I do next and I will be sure to let you know. Okay, so I took out the trash and put in a new bag. I wiped down the counters and the stovetop and all of that and I swept the floor. I'm not gonna do deep cleaning today. It's already 3.44 and I want to head to the mall. Okay, so I just got dressed to go ride the metro and I'm gonna head to TJ Maxx. This will be the first time that I ride the metro since like well I rode the metro for the first time last week since March 2020 and this will be my second time so I'm pretty excited I'm gonna take you all along with me this time but real quick wanted to show you my outfit of the day I have these sunglasses that Bay got me I actually don't know where they're from but they're these cute sunglasses that I'm definitely gonna wear because it's pretty sunny outside and I also have this cute little orange top I got from Amazon last year this backpack I got from my Fab Fit Fun box and I also have these jean shorts that I recently purchased at Old Navy as well as my comfy sandals that I use for hiking and walking and these are from Columbia Sportswear Company. I just love them. They're super cute. I honestly don't know how I'm going to do vlogging in public. Yeah, so just bear with me. <laughs>
just tried out this coffee. This is a flat white from Origin Coffee Lab. It's my first time trying them out. I think they're actually pretty new. The lady inside said they've been around for like a couple of months, but it was really good. So the whole TJ Maxx trip did not really work out because it was just a reminder that clothes is not really accessible to every size if you know what i mean but we will talk about that more later it's already 5 20 so we will see how long until david gets here <laughs> look who it is Ooh, what a nice haircut you look so handsome <laughs> So every time we come to this restaurant for date night, I always get this lychee mojito and it's honestly so freaking good. For appetizer, we got shrimp tempura and we also got some jasmine green tea. Isn't this little pot so cute? I think it's so adorable. Look at that. It's brewing a couple of minutes right now, okay? And then we're gonna be able to pour it, but I'm so excited. What do you think? What do you rate it? <laughs> You rate it an 8 out of 10? That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, the food has arrived. So this is Korean bibimbap with extra egg. And this is a bulgogi kind. So it's beef, basically. But so good. This is our favorite thing to get here. Today, we're actually going to share this and the appetizer. And that should be pretty good. So we're going to eat that now. So it's time to test this out for myself. I love shrimp tempura, so I'm sure I'm going to love it. So good. Are you sure? Yeah. Do it again. <laughs> mm. Is that better? <laughs> yeah. I hate you. Okay, stop. Good morning, happy Sunday. So last night I ended up just getting ice cream. We came home and watched Netflix and then went to sleep. So it is the next morning. I am pretty tired, but I just got up and got ready and did my makeup and all of that. David says he wants to go get some breakfast at one of our favorite French places called Le Madeleines on King Street in Old Town Alexandria. So we're gonna do that, but we already know that they're portion sizes are super small and it's good but we are pretty hungry so I'm actually going to make us some eggs to eat before we go so that way when we go we can just like enjoy the food and not not complain about how hungry we still are because that tends to happen when we go eat somewhere we're taking some preventative measures to say the least so I'm gonna make some eggs and maybe some coffee and then we're gonna head out Dancing. Used to cry alone at night, just had to stay in my eyes, but with you it's like a never. We look totally blown out. We are currently walking oh. around Old Town. You didn't know I was recording? Oh. I'm literally taking pictures, but oh, there's someone about to walk by. Oh. I can't see anything. Yeah, this is bad lighting, y'all. Sorry. We're currently in Old Town, Alexandria, and we're taking photos. This is my cameraman. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> He's taking my photos, but with my iPhone, because honestly, I'm not like a professional photographer, so trying to take it on my camera has been kind of a hassle. Like, you have to change the exposure and the contrast and the white balance for every single photo, and it's just too much. iPhone just does it for you. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to head to La Madeline's. Right, introduce myself. Okay. Wait, but you need to stand over here. You're in the shadow. Okay, so I'm here with my boyfriend. You want to introduce yourself? Uh, hi. All right. Hello. My name is David, so I'm cameraman. I'm usually behind the scenes. Behind making the all scenes. the magic happen. Okay, I'm done. So we made it to La Madeline and we got a potato galette or Gillette. I don't really know how to say it. We got some black coffee to share because we never finish our own cup. And now we're just waiting on our French toast. Are you excited? <laughs> the bank. Oh, I think it's from uh, Wizard of Oz. <laughs> that lady who passed in her little Corvette, she looked at us all weird and then she saw you tying my shoes and she smiled. <laughs> See? When I thought that I knew what to do, and I. 
Thank you, baby. <laughs> We've been walking around Old Town taking photos again. Ah, I almost fell. Yeah, these sidewalks are so historic that they haven't replaced the old bricks on them. So if you ever come to Old Town, watch where you're stepping. But isn't it so beautiful, y'all? It's such a beautiful day and all of the places here look so like just historic and beautiful. I don't know if y'all can see these houses, but they are so nice. <laughs> Let's make this aesthetic. Cue the background music. We just got back to my apartment and now I need to put on some actual workout clothes that I can work out with. We're gonna go to my apartment gym and do a leg and back workout. And currently my boyfriend is trying to plan our workout using Pinterest. If you haven't looked up like Pinterest workouts to give you some inspiration, you're missing out cause it's free. So highly recommend. <laughs> what are you doing? Practicing my form. What are we gonna work out today? Legs. <laughs> and shoulders. Oh, what about back? And back. So I was going to vlog my workout and show you all like what I do at the gym when I'm not at Orange Theory. And I even brought my tripod for my camera, but your girl forgot the camera. It's in my apartment and I already started my workout, so I don't want to go down. So I'm just going to film this on my phone. I hope the quality is not too bad. Please comment down below if you can like really tell the difference between my phone and my camera. If so, I won't be using my camera to vlog in the future. But honestly, it's just like I want to record it and I want to show you all. So it's just convenient because I have my phone with me and I brought my little microphone which you can see it here so I hope that that makes a difference with audio. With that said today I'm working out legs and back and Bay is over there and we're gonna work out together so we'll probably film me doing a couple of the exercises because I know a few of you have asked me to post my exercises and some of my favorite workouts so I will be sure to incorporate more of that into my future vlogs. It's 4.20 p.m. and I just finished up with my workout with Bay. We just finished up with our workout and David has to go take care of his dad. So he's gonna go home, but he's gonna drop me off at Whole Foods first because I wanna get a few groceries and then I'll probably just walk home after so that I can do a little bit of meal prep. So I'll show you all how I'm gonna do that this week as well. What's up? I just got back from my little grocery store run to Whole Foods. I thought I would do a little mini grocery haul to show you all what I got. I made myself a little protein shake to have right now to kind of hold me over because I'm really hungry and I didn't eat after my workout. It's 5.30. I'm going to start with meal prep. After I do this little grocery haul, I'm going to show you all what I got at the grocery store today. It was really packed. I mean, it is Sunday, so that makes sense. Wow, I had never tried making a protein shake with oat milk. This is really, really good. Mm. In case anybody's wondering what protein powder I used, my boyfriend recommended me this IsoPure protein powder that he used to use that he just loved. It's vanilla salted caramel. It's very light, the flavor. It's not really sweet at all. So if you're someone who loves really like kind of sweet protein powder, this is probably not for you. But with oat milk, this is really, really good. It's like a light creamy taste. For those of you who care, disclaimer, I'm going to talk about calories and macros real quick. But this has one scoop is one serving. It has 100 calories and 25 grams of protein and zero carbs. Honestly, this was great when I was like always dieting and stuff. But now I just drink it because it's high in protein. Really easy to drink. It's a very light protein. It doesn't feel heavy at all. So yeah. 
Let's get into this mini grocery haul. So I pretty much came up with what I wanted to eat and then I made a grocery list out of kind of what I wanted to meal prep for lunch and dinner. I actually didn't get wine. I just crossed it off because I don't like leaving things unchecked on my list, but ignore that. So I made myself a list before walking into Whole Foods to make sure that I didn't overspend and everything that you see here was around $55. So I got some salmon fillets. I like getting them frozen. I know it's not like necessary necessarily the freshest or whatever but it works for me because I can store them or I can use them right away and they last a long time. I got some fresh strawberries, some cacao nibs or cocoa nibs, I'm not really sure how you're supposed to say it, some hemp seeds and some yogurt. I got this so that I can start doing a, a yogurt fruit bowl in the mornings if I want to. I got some bananas for my protein shakes as another breakfast option or snack option. I also got this really small milk. I got a small milk on purpose like I don't usually buy organic because it's more expensive but it was just easier to carry since Whole Foods is a mile away from my apartment. Also I only really use this to add a little splash of milk into my scrambled eggs to make them fluffy. And then I got this bonsai spaghetti that's made from chickpeas. It's so 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 good y'all. Can't rave enough about this and it's high in protein and it's just really satisfying. So I'm gonna make, be making pasta obviously. I also got this three cheese blend. It's so so good and I add this on top of my pasta every time that I serve it. I also got two little bunches of asparagus because I just find that when I get one it's not enough and that's it y'all this is a very mini grocery haul so I already put the oven to preheat to 375 I'm going to unwrap and prep the salmon that I'm gonna use I'm gonna bake it for 20 minutes at 375 and then check on it to see if that's like how I want it to look and then I'm going to rinse these asparagus and put them on this baking sheet. Usually I honestly prefer pan frying these, but because I got two bunches and it's gonna take longer and I'm also gonna make spaghetti, I'm going to bake them just to save some time. So I'm gonna do that and then show you all kind of how it's turning out. The salmon looks pretty much ready, but I'm gonna leave it in for a few more minutes so hopefully it'll get toasted. I have the turkey meat here cooking. I only added spices and I'm cooking it by itself first because the turkey meat was frozen. I'm heating up the salted water to add the pasta. Once the meat's ready, I'm gonna add this tomato basil sauce that I really like. So, so far everything's coming along. I'm about to crack open one of these Blue Moon Citrus Wheat Light Sky Drinks. It tastes so good. My boyfriend and I tried it for the first time a couple weeks ago and we're hooked. I'm also watching Carter's Week in My Life. Honestly, I'm loving it. It's a longer video which is perfect because I can watch it while I meal prep. Protein spaghetti is almost done and I'm about to pull the salmon out. I think it should be more well cooked by this point but so far so good. This looks delicious. It's very simple but <laughs> that is what I'm into these days like simple healthy meals that are easy to cook because honestly my work week is so busy that I do not I do not have the energy to cook during the week. Okay, so this is the finished product. This is the turkey protein chickpea pasta that I made with the tomato and basil sauce. And then I have, we got the salmon here and the asparagus, and I'm just gonna let everything cool off while I go and take a shower. Hey y'all, so it is, oh, it just turned seven. And I just finished up showering and doing my whole skincare routine and everything that I do for my 
my nighttime routine. I am really tired. So I got 10,000 steps in today. Plus I just did like a whole workout and have just been moving around a lot. And it's been a fun, eventful weekend. And I've been so happy to spend it with you all and share it with you all. I hope that you all enjoyed this weekend in my life. The rest of the night, I'm literally just gonna eat, put away the food that I made for the week, start editing my next vlog and probably watch some good girls. I started watching that recently and it's so, so good. Have you all watched it? Cause if you haven't, you definitely should try it out. It's so good. And that's really gonna be the rest of my night before I go to sleep and all of that. So thank you so, so much for spending the weekend with me. I hope that you enjoyed this weekend in my life vlog. If you did and if you'd like to see more of these types of vlogs like outside of my work from home vlogs, please let me know down in the comment section below and make sure to like this video to let me know that you liked it or dislike it if you didn't like it and make sure to comment down below if you want to see more videos like this and if you haven't already make sure to subscribe down below and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss a single video from me and with that said your girl's exhausted so I'm gonna go so thanks again so much for hanging out with me and I can't wait to see y'all in the next one.